This uh, relationship uh, was founded really in 1948. It progressed through the Korean War, obviously, and uh, it has been built into probably as important and lasting uh, treaty partnership post-World War II as we've seen uh, in the last 65 years. Yeah, the Secretary of Defense and I traveled here to the Republic of Korea to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the alliance. Uh, secondly, to take part in a military consultative meeting. It's, a, it's an annual meeting where we uh, take measure of the alliance and decide what to change. And we, we've got uh, a very, very well-trained, well-led, and well-equipped force here on the Korean Peninsula. And we should, because the, the threats um, are significant on the peninsula due to North Korean provocation and uncertainty. If there was ever a time when we needed not only their personal qualities and their continued commitment, but it's also their leadership. We're going to have to lead our way out of these challenges. And so as I meet young officers, young non-commissioned officers, young warrant officers, I ask them to take that on and to lead, help us lead our way out of the, this uh, period of uncertainty. Well, our uh, military is the finest in the world. I mean, we, we have uh, the best people most motivated people, uh, people who care about, uh, yes, their country and themselves, but they care about the world. I, I think they have an opportunity to come out and acknowledge that, to let them know that even though they're uh, far, far away from the United States of America, uh, the United States of America knows what they're doing, cares about what they're doing, and it's important uh, what they do every day. This region of the world, this relationship between the United States and the Republic of Korea is as critical a relationship as there is as we move into uh, here the next uh, few years. This region of the world is critically important to the future of the United States, but it's important to the future of the world.